This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. Happening now under the Gold Dome is United Effort to get gangs out of Georgia. State leaders meeting to discuss new efforts to support law enforcement agencies. Governor Brian Kemp and his wife Marty will be present when the Georgia Anti-Gang Network convenes. Together, they plan to discuss new ways to support prosecutors in their fight against crime. The meeting comes on the heels of a shooting in Atlanta that left Officer David Rogers seriously injured. Meanwhile, Atlanta police are investigating another bomb threat at Spelman College from Tuesday. This makes at least the third threat at the school this year. Students are back in the classrooms today amid threats at two other historically black colleges and universities across the state and nationwide. According to reports, the FBI has identified a few tech savvy juveniles as persons of interest in some of the recent bomb threats and they're looking into other types of involvement. Today, jury selection resumed in the federal hate crimes trial against Ahmaud Arbery's killers in South Georgia. So far, 44 people have been deemed qualified to serve. Tuesday, some potential jurors questioned whether crimes should be treated differently if they're motivated by race. Federal prosecutors say Gregory and Travis McMichael, along with their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, targeted Arbery because he was black. All three men have pleaded not guilty. Today, Atlanta Public Schools hosting a ribbon cutting for the first two Atlanta community schoolyard sites. These are plans for the sites at L.O. Kimberly Elementary School in Southwest Atlanta and John Wesley Dobbs Elementary School in Lakewood. The program is part of a national effort to expand community access to school playgrounds during non school hours. All right, talking about going outside, getting a little play in. Well, let's check in on our forecast with meteorologist Ella Dorsey. Can the kids go out today? Absolutely, and you can go out as well. You're going to want to take advantage of this weather while it lasts. Lots of sunshine, highs in the low 60s today. And in fact, we're going to hang on to that sun and the warmth through the end of the week. By the end of the week, Friday and Saturday, we're talking mid to upper 60s. No rain. Take advantage of it because cold air arrives on Sunday. We'll see a windy day only in the 40s with a few flurries flying around and it will stay chilly for Valentine's Day. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.